So this is a heroic raid solo of the eels in phase three and a little bit uh, into phase four. It's also to highlight what Merlin can do for you in the raids. Um, basically, he's just going to do the same move every time, which is to give himself um, his second special. Um, and what that does is it cleanses one or possibly two effects from all the characters and gives himself harmful immunity. Um, even though the eels can purge the harmful immunity, this makes it really simple to set up the raid from the beginning. A lot of the time, you see Anna, Bayamax in that p position, but he clears off the harmful immunity that the eels put on you at the start of the run. So it saves you a lot of forfeits. And what's great about Merlin in the raid doing this is that he constantly cleanses off the continuous damage. And in addition to that, he never he never feeds the speed meter of the raid boss because he because every single time if you use his second special just on him it's always charged because it gives three magic um which is pretty nifty in pvp and other things you could instantly give hercules a column or you could instantly give um mickey mouse some fireworks um but it's actually i find it much more useful to use the special on merlin himself because then it's always charged it means that every time he has a turn he can cleanse one or two effects. So you can see how I set this up. This You've probably seen other videos using this team, um, but with Honor or Bayamax, maybe you've even seen one with Merlin. But the harmful immunity on Merlin is really helpful. It allows him actually to survive basically in any phase. I mean, you can always have accidents and have to forfeit, or phase three, if it was just starting there, he could get hit pretty hard by some big hits from Ursula. But even though Merlin doesn't have a ton of health, because so much of the damage, particularly against the shark or the eels, um, and, and phase four Ursula comes in the form of, of continuous damage or, or, or poison or things like that, but he is immune to that with the harmful immunity when he uses the move on himself. So he can kind of sit there, and the hits from the eels don't really do much. So otherwise, this, is, this run is just to show you how to use this basic team again, Honey Lemon, Cobra, Sven, Hero. Um, the key is really is to get the cauldron out um, and protected, um, because that's how you're going to get a really long run, is by using the cauldron as much as possible. Um, but the thing I do when, when facing the eels, and you also have to watch, as you see here now, one is, is stealth, so I can only attack one of them, but it's more or less to take turns um, attacking them, but gauging their speed meter and really paying attention to the, the little um, the skill with the, with the skull there of the insta-kill to see which eel is farther along. I see Flotsam on the left now has the insta-kill fully charged, so I really want to keep his speed meter down. But otherwise, um, but I don't have the choice because the other eel is stealth, so that's when that can become um, a bit of a problem. But but it, it's just kind of the basic mechanics. You use Honey Lemon to put on slows. She doesn't do anything else. She just uses her basic every time. You use Hero to, to either shield or speed up Cobra at the start. Um, or maybe occasionally Sven if Cobra's going to go next anyway. But once you get the cauldron out, almost every time I'm going to speed up the cauldron because that that is the rotation that you get into that enables you to really to build up um, critical on Sven and 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 evasion on Sven because that is how this run works. That's all you're really trying to do is is set up um, evasion and crit and critical hits onto Sven. Um, that's how all of these teams work. And over time, it's going to mean that he's going to hit for huge damage in the range of 250,000. I've hit for more, but in this run, I don't think it goes above 250,000 um, per hit. And, and so to do that, you always are keeping a clan, you using Cobra's cleanse on Sven because that gives him offense up should he choose to assist. Um, but also because when, when that happens, that means that Sven has tactics, um, meaning that he gains two crits every time he eats a carrot. So Sven just eats a carrot. So that's all he does all day long uh, until there are, you know, three characters left until you, or, or two characters left and you have a ton of stuff built on him or you're really just trying to get out of a phase. And this Honey Lemon just uses her basic hero, is going to put up shields and speed up the cauldron um, or speed up Cobra at the beginning. But really, the, the key is is that once you get the is to get the cauldron out and protect it. It's very easy to lose the cauldron um, to the eels, but once it has the evasion up, you're not going to lose it. But what's also great about Merlin, besides the fact that unlike Bayamax or Anna, he literally never feeds the turn meter of the eels and, and he cleanses harmful effects much more frequently, is that Merlin actually... Every time he takes a turn, it has the ch it has the chance to increase um, your spells being charged, so that's really helpful. 
Um, you'll see in this run that I've chosen to use <laughs> Splash Mountain rather than uh, something like uh, Pan's Shadow. Uh, that's just a personal choice. Pan's Shadow can help at the end with Sven extend a run a little longer, but otherwise it just sits there. Uh, Splash Mountain's not going to charge all that often, but I got my Splash Mountain to level 4 um, because it means that one or two times in the course of a run, it's going to decrease the magic um, on the eels and delay the insta-kill by one turn. You know, with the amount of damage that is done, it doesn't charge all that often, um, but just those couple times can make a huge difference. Um, I think you'll see eventually in the course of this run that it could have even gone farther than it went, um, but it didn't. Um, because I did lose, I think at the end of phase three, I lost hero to an insta-kill kind of close to where I could have gotten out of phase three. So if I had able to have Splash Mountain charge then, that could have gotten hero into phase four. And with three characters in phase four, this could have gone uh, even further than it did. It just went a little into phase four because I just really had, I just had Sven and Cobra. So, but anyway, here you're watching the eels against the eels. Um, it's just still all the same, building up crit hits and and guarantees on Sven. You're not going to lose anybody except to the insta-kill. Um, you see, now now both eels are, are set for an insta-kill, so it's really just a matter of trying to manage both of their speed meters. Always throughout this, you're going to use Cobra um, to reduce the turn meter on the eels. Uh, you want to pay attention to how many times you've used it on each one, possibly in between turns, because they do become more resistant uh, to it. But but the main thing is to see how charged up their insta-kills are, honestly. So now this is where actually the, this run really gets really crazy points can be set up. Because now you see Sven, now Sven can hit. Now I'm going to start to hit with Sven, try to bring the eel life down, not just feed him carrots, because it's 230,000 to hit, I'm down to three characters. But the real thing I want to do right now is just keep feeding the cauldron with hero um, so that Cobra can bring the eel's turn meter down as much as possible. This is actually really where this run is made, because once I only have these three characters and the cauldron out, I basically don't have... I can build so many evasions and crits onto Sven, because I basically don't have... There's almost nothing I'm doing that is charging the turn meter of the eels. The only thing that can really happen is that Sven um, assists off the cauldron. Otherwise, it really is a long time. Um, to for, you know, And Cobra can can bring the turn meter down, and with the cauldron hero and cobra really shouldn't end up having to use their basics, um, which would feed the turn meter because of the eels, um, because their moves should pretty much always be charged. That's why you continually use the hero's um, upgrade onto the cauldron, because it makes everybody's moves always charged. Now you can see I'm hitting away with Sven, but what I've realized at this point, now I've killed the eel. Now see, on the eel, there are two left on the insta kill. They're only, they're only, the charge is only two, maybe three on the eel's insta kill. So now I don't want, I could just knock this eel out in one hit from Sven. And if, and if I, and if he assists off the cauldron, that would be it. But I want this to last as long as possible right now because it's going to build onto Sven, the, the crits and evasion are just building and building and building on Sven, which means every hit in the next round is going to be bigger. And that's how you get through phase three, which is coming up, because you just need to hit away at Ursula um, as fast as you can, because that's what enables you to get it through fast. And if Sven is hitting for 200,000 plus points, you can get through the phase really fast. That's the only way you're going to survive that phase with, you know, with three characters left. So that's what I'm doing right here. And now, as you can see, the insta-kill is fully charged. So now pretty soon I'm, I have to get out of here. So at this point, I'm just, I take a moment and decide I'm just going to hit him away with Sven. I don't want to take the chance of an assist off the cauldron by hero or something weird that would, 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 would have caused the insta-kill. So now this is phase three. It's just whacking away with Sven, continuing to put up evasions with hero, maybe using hero to upgrade Sven or Cobra. Obviously, between phases, I lose the cauldron, so I can't have quite the same pattern going. Um, but yeah, clen cleanse Sven with Cobra. Use Hero um, to maybe to get Cobra some extra turns, or maybe to give make sure that Sven has offense up if he doesn't have it from Cobra, because I want him to have offense up at all times, um, since we're doing this run, since I'm just trying to get some big hits. And look how fast this phase went. You watched all that time setting up the eels, and this is just really, once you get it to this point, it only takes a couple of minutes. The hits are all over 200,000. Here's what I mean. Not a lot of health left on Ursula. Almost got Hero out of that phase, really just one, two turns away. So if I'd had Hero going into this phase four, it would have been a little different. I could have put up some evasions. I could have punched punched out the tentacles a couple 
times with his basic. I mean, not in one hit, but I would have had more ability to knock out some tentacles. Um, I take out the tentacles initial. I'm taking out these tentacles um, one time, but it's kind of a tough choice of what to do when you only have two characters because you can't really get that far. So uh, the run's pretty much over at this point, but since then is hitting for 200,000 plus points rather than knock out the tentacles with those few turns that I get, I'm just going to hit at Ursula because, you know, if he gets four or five hits off, that's a million additional damage. So that's why I make that decision rather than to knock off uh, these tentacles. But as I said, if, if Hero had survived into this, you could make it a little farther. If you have four characters, if you have Honey Lemon to put on the slow and to provide an insta-kill um, and, you know, as something else to knock out some tentacles, all of a sudden we could be talking about a run that could make it to the end. Obviously, there was no chance that Honey Lemon was going to be alive in this phase, but there was a chance that Hero would be alive in this phase, and then this could have gone a lot further. But here's the run, and as I said, in part, this is to show what you can do with Merlin. Uh, I do believe he is superior to Baymax or Ana on this team, and I believe this team is superior to the Barley team. Um, but there you go, 8.5 8. million, and this started at the very beginning of the Eels. So...